We're heading into the wedding season, which means that families around the country are planning for the big event. The Sunday Times Eastern Bridal Fair held in Durban each year always offers great ideas and advice for every aspect of a wedding. And here are some of the highlights for 2017. On a day like this, you'd expect to find Tevin at the beach, but the bridal events enjoyed a higher priority. Since its inception in 2000, an average of 10,000 people have gathered each year for an annual event known as the Eastern Bridal Fair. So, if you're a potential bride or groom looking to find the perfect element to add the finishing touches to the wedding of your dreams, well, you've come to the right place. On entering the doors, visitors found that the venue had been transformed into a true mela, showcasing all things wedding related with an Eastern theme. With over 130 stalls, this year's event seems to be bigger and better. So join me as we make our way through the Durban Exhibition Centre. In many ways, tradition still dominates the world of weddings, with ethnic costume and jewellery remaining a firm favourite. Even if a bride decides not to wear all 16 pieces of the traditional Sola Shungar, she will probably be shopping for an eye-catching necklace complemented by bangles and bracelets. Mendy is popular for parties and the wedding itself, while the makeup palette seems ever-expanding. Photo booths offer wedding guests a fun way to create a keepsake of the occasion. Yeah. Wedding photography also has moved on from the fixed smiles in the local park era and convener Sudhir Bragji has worked hard to keep the event up to date. Sudhir, welcome to Mailand. Now the show keeps getting bigger and bigger. What for you is the secret to its success? Whenever an exhibitor comes in, it must be quality. Then it's the quality of the stalls, the quality of the ambience, because this is a concrete shell when we get it. And we build that stage, we build the lights and everything, and then the show itself has to be stunning and different every year. Sudhir sets high standards, but Tevin wanted to know whether the products measured up to the visitors' expectations. What are your thoughts on this outfit so far? Oh, I'm loving this velvet outfit. It's stunning and this colour is beautiful. As a makeup artist, what do you love most about the bridal fair? I love having my models over and I love the creativity that goes with it. I love the exposure that it brings with it. And I think I enjoy interacting with new brides and their enthusiasm. This was a serious buying expedition for some, while others were more focused on romance. We actually met here at the bridal fair in 2014 and we got married like a year ago. Wow, that's amazing. So, do you come back every year? Yeah, so we kept it a tradition just to come and visit all the time and just see our old mates. I keep coming back because of the new and latest trends. It's the people, it's the whole ambience. The food, the stores, the handsome models. <laughs> Look at the crowd, it's unbelievable. There was no time to take things easy backstage as the dancers prepared for the show. Now picture this for a second. Over 100 local models and dancers are about to hit the stage to perform a beautifully choreographed 60-minute fashion show and dance extravaganza. And I can't wait because we've got front row seats. Up-and-coming playback vocalist Siddharth Slathya opened the show, setting an appropriately romantic tone. The performers of the Nateshwa Dance Academy then picked the celebratory mood while keeping things traditional. But it wasn't long before they brought all the energy of Bollywood to the stage. This is not the first time that the fair's dance sequences have been mapped out by international choreographer Yash Pandya, who finds himself inspired by the enthusiasm of the dancers and the audience. The culture out here is really nice and that's what something excites me and brings me back here all the time. I see a lot of hard work being put by each and everyone, the models, the dancers and the people working behind, don't forget that. So I think the passion is what gets me here. Rather than merely parading outfits on the ramp, a dance sequence was specially created to match the style with a Latino feel for this fusion range. A 
ethnic wedding attire continues to be the preferred choice of many families in South Africa's Indian community. Then again, who could resist the allure of a magnificent lehenga in jewel tones richly embellished with a gold jhari and gota detailing? Red has always been regarded to be the most auspicious color for an Indian bride. The palette has gradually expanded to suit a wide range of tastes, ranging from ivory and champagne across the spectrum to midnight blue and black. With this show ending on a high note, the fashion lovers express their appreciation. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. But what have we seen? The latest fashion trends to hair, makeup and jewellery. The Eastern Bridal Fair truly does provide an interactive shopping experience and it caters to your every bridal desire.